Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Essie Enchanted Gel Couture collection for, it's another kind of like random January 2018 collection. There are six polishes here all together. I have heard conflicting reports of whether this is called the Enchanted Collection or the Spellbond Collection. I got these from Ulta and they are listed on Ulta as Enchanted, so that's what I'm going to call them, but six polishes here all together and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Matter of Fiction, and this is a very light baby pink. This is kind of like a semi-sheer polish. I don't think it's meant to be one of those where you can kind of see your nail line through it. It's kind of in between, like a slightly crelly-ish, very light pink. The Gel Couture polishes have this nice wide brush on them, and it makes a polish like this one that I think would normally be pretty streaky apply pretty evenly. I actually have a little experiment about SE polishes and formulas and brushes coming up. I might even film it today, actually. Really good formula on this one. So this one is starting to build up on the second coat. I think if you have a very, very steady hand and very careful application, you might be able to get this one opaque in two. I still have some dark spots, so I'm going to go ahead and do a third coat. And those do become a little more apparent after it's fully dry. So this one does cover completely in three coats. I can see the dark spots pretty well in person, but they're not really showing up very well on camera. And this one also dries very shiny on its own. So that is three coats of Matter of Fiction. The next polish is called Princess Charming, and this is kind of a mauve nude color. This one is very opaque on that first coat. When I did my swatch pictures just a little bit ago, I stared and stared and stared at it and tried to decide whether I was going to say it was a one coater or not. For me, I don't think it's quite there when it's fully dry. I still had a couple of dark spots, so I'm going to go ahead and do two for the video as well. But this is very, very close and a really good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two because it was really close in one. I do feel like it dries a little bit darker than it applies, but the second coat doesn't build the color up anymore. And this one also dries pretty shiny. So that is two coats of Princess Charming. The next polish is called Once Upon a Time, and this is an almost like a slightly grayish purple shade. This one is also very opaque for being a lighter color. It's not super light, but it's lighter. This is another one that was really close to a one coater for me, a little bit less than the last one, but I did have a few dark spots that I needed to cover. And a really good formula on this one as well. This one I do feel like is a little bit on the thin side. Not too much, it just takes a little bit of extra care for me, especially after using the last polish that was a little bit thicker than this one is. And as much as I love these wide brushes, they do make slightly thinner formulas a little bit more difficult to work with. For me, anyway. So this one does cover completely in two coats. It's another one that I do feel dries just a little bit darker than it applies. And this one also dries very shiny. So that is two coats of Once Upon a Time. The next polish is called Spellbound, and this is, it looks like a gray with a bunch of gold shimmer. The gold shimmer almost gives it a little bit of a green hue to it as well. So this one is a little bit more sheer on the first coat because it does have that shimmer in it. And that shimmer does stand out really well, just as good as it does in the bottle, which you don't see super often. And a good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats, and the second coat does deepen the color a little bit. There are no brush strokes through the shimmer at all, even though the shimmer is pretty dense, it doesn't show any brush strokes, which is super nice. And this also, it dries shiny, like you can definitely see a shine to it, but I do feel like it just has a weird, like, dullness to it because of that shimmer that's in there. Obviously, I'm going to recommend top coat for all of them, but especially this one. So that is two coats of Spellbound. The next polish is called Daring Damsel, and this is a gold, metallic, slightly foilish polish. So this one covers pretty well on that first coat. I do have a few bald spots when it's all applied, so I'm going to do a second coat. You do want to be very careful with this one because those brush strokes that are in there do not go away. The formula is pretty good. It's definitely the thickest out of the entire collection, but it's not too thick. It's just weird to me that it has all those little sparkles of a, of a foil polish, but it has the brush strokes of metallic. Actually, looking at this one, I have no bald spots on this coat. When I did my swatch pictures, I did two, but this one, right now it looks pretty good in one. So I think I'm just going to do one coat of this for the video. If it's fully opaque, there's no reason for me to do a second. But I did need two for my pictures, so this could be 
an either or kind of polish, but that is one coat of Daring Damsel. And the last polish is called Good Night, and this is a very dark, vampy, kind of reddy brown. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. And I'm trying to be, oh, there I go. I was literally about to tell you how extra careful I'm trying to be, and I did that. Like I was saying, I'm trying to be extra careful with this wide brush and my shaky hands and this dark color because I don't want to flood my cuticles with this one because this one will be a lot harder to get the color off my skin. And good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely on that second coat and it does deepen the color quite a bit. Usually these are some of my favorite colors to wear this time of year, but I mean the second Christmas got over, I wanted spring colors this year. And this one also dries very shiny. So that is two coats of Good Night. And Spellbound is actually going to be my favorite here just because I think it's the most unique out of all of them. Pretty much all the other colors I've seen a couple hundred times before. Um, this one is a little bit more unique. It's that weird kind of like slate blue mossy green. I can't really tell because the gold shimmer that's in there throws the color a little bit. But I do really like this one. It's unique to the collection and kind of unique for Essie anyway. So that is my favorite. So that is the Essie Gel Couture Enchanted Collection for 2018. Again, I got those from the Ulta website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.